bar that is uh, empty. The bar bar. And you say that I have nothing to drink. That's what you say. Eh? You say, excuse me, you have nothing to drink. Why? You are watching me. Okay? I told you. Doesn't matter that I don't have nothing to drink. But in this whole showbiz and even documentaries and even news and those things you have nothing. Shall we say with this empty bottle that is true? What you have? Of course, like what I'm gonna drink now, and then you have to clean up. Shall I drink it? I shall give you this. This is a bit. Who are you? I tell you what you were. Uh, before I drink it, I tell you who you are. You have to say to me, I'm sorry that you don't have drinks. You come here on my turf in my country and say, you're a man with uh, almost a broken neck, you can sit here and have nothing, because that's what you like. But I tell you how I have I'm gonna show you how I walk. This, that, this, this how I walk. This how I walk. Limping on one leg because it's really hurting. When I get this blessure. You know what God bless you is? Him. God has given a blessing, a blessure, and that's what he calls it. And this is a program, for you maybe not a movie, the gift of God, is what he calls. The gift of God is showing me that I have only one sip to taste a little bit of water. And you say, come here, on my turf. Try to steal me out or whatever you do to make me poor. I say, mm -hmm. this man not can walk. Today I hear you say, if he walks to the supermarket, everybody will laugh. You started maybe threatening about stealing something from him. <laughs> or that I'm easy to attack. Those things. You say, what a nerd. So, my legs started hurting a little bit more, my feet, and I say, no, I don't go to no, I got no sugar. But you, God showed me, you have told me nothing. You break in my uh, kingdom, you call it, yeah, you make me a stupid king, that's why you call it kingdom, but they call me the Koninkrijk. That's how I call myself. I'm a cast in kingdom. Do you know me? It's a king in the domain church. That is maybe where I really met you, maybe for the first time. Your people who come to say to me that I can be poor and that you can really make my life nasty. <laughs> I think you say those things maybe because I feel those things coming to me now. But how powerful God is means I'm going to show you. There's a little sip in the glass, but it was very good as I noticed it. When you feel, concentrate here and down. Mm -hmm. 
and that is your show but if God tell me to do this I do it so I'm still waiting because I don't believe that I have to sit down in my own garden country this forest that does on me and I call this my garden now I sit with a sip of water every day almost and you are celebrating yourself good in my hotel and stay in my houses around me and think you all are funny I saw you coming and I thought that you maybe look like something I say maybe you folks are looking like something that played with us before because I don't know what the meaning is that you are here and really destroying my life but if God did this I'm gonna have from God new water what will God do will he fill this water with you in it how you drink this message Wash it. Psh, psh, fill it. Because this is also what you want to steal from me. My water. The bottle of water that I put in the fridge. Those, those, those things you want to steal. You are a thief from the beginning of the earth. Come in here with your kung fu games you may be known as. Then you started stealing me from the Viking time. I'm just an ordinary thief. And you didn't want nothing to do with our videos and news. Now you try maybe to have newspaper, that's what I do. Instead of putting yourself in a newspaper, but you don't are, are allowed to get a picture. You get only a picture when you graduated from school. Because normally you get a baby. Hmm? That's what the graduation was for you in the past. And that's why you want maybe a picture. Who are you? A woman will told you nothing. You're gonna take a lot of guys with you. Hmm? Big news is maybe you guys. You know guys. I saw you doing nothing. No even one courage. One hero fight like Hulk Hogan is maybe the one that I can say that you are in the past this you are also a low low nothing and everyone who claimed that they came here I'm gonna prove by God's help that you are thinking that you coffee on a meter coffee you drinking you come here to sit in my coffee again because you say I like to maybe do this in my restaurant or whatever you have I like to take off coffee for you when I'm sitting in this block mm -hmm. that you come here to buy coffee at us and not to feel I have one cup of coffee or tea in the night or in the day mm -hmm. you can also if I don't see, if you don't see coffee, none of them need a sitting to be coffee. Coffee is only you, and those clients are fake. They have no restaurant, they stole it maybe on time. They have no coffee shop, they have nothing. And that's why coffee is only you. Your woman didn't make coffee, you bring those things, and then you think to wash. And the woman was with there, and she was standing outside the you know, as a policeman, she came with a sauce or a police suit was ready, and that's how you have two guns because she took your own gun and said, I have two guns. I call this thing up because you are the police, I'm the police. That's what God said. Okay. So, 
if God has given me so much joy, why should I stay thinking that one of you has something to do with me? That's why this program is about God. Our God is making everything for real or You can think about it. But many of you who are thinking, some of you are quick sometimes. Let's say, let's say you've been this, you've been the old guys or something. I have it now because you're scared if I don't have it, you have nothing to do with old guys. Maybe you can. Think about it. I don't know who brought it in, but maybe you win some. <laughs> but the one who brings nothing, means nothing. If you bring it only one time, you don't win everything. That's how God works. God say, no, you stand maybe in the video. That is it. That's your winning. But are you going to win the second time? Are you going to win the second video? Because what you do now is the reflection of what you do in the past. So if you come here and try to hang me out, it means you are holding me somewhere. And then you only give me a little bit of food and a little bit of water, and that's everything what I see in the day. <laughs> Those things around me, can better say that five minutes to think if they have something and show this, but they better can think they have nothing. Because in five minutes I don't see you come with water or with something that's amusing in showbiz. Water is the thing for showbiz? I think water is the thing for politician. That's what you put your glass of water for. So if I go to the kitchen and fill this thing and I have water, then you may be win by a politician if I get it back in five minutes. But if I have to wait ten minutes, is God still giving you a little bit of politician? If I have to wait fifteen minutes, are you still getting politician from God that you are standing maybe doing politics? I think not. So a lot of you can think how nice it is. To really sit around and be man and another because you don't believe first in one thing is magic. If I bow down to the gods, I get more. If I don't bow down, I get what I have maybe now only. And I have to ask forgiveness tomorrow to still have it. But you don't believe this. <laughs> That's what I don't like about it come here to harm people and don't believe. So, in this hand, you have the devil, you can say. Mm. In this hand, you have God. And more gods, maybe, who like to be pleased. And there you get me, you know. I try to make a reflection of God's living. So, I can feel also when you don't have much, you don't want to run, run and quick and refill this thing and think five minutes because maybe the five minutes are already counting or are they counting while I refill it. You can think about it. For me, I shall tell you honest, I was counting them when I refer. I'm not so nasty thing. But maybe you would like to have maybe nasty thing because you think the five minutes are already running. And I didn't refer nothing. And after five minutes I'm done speaking. And then you are totally nothing. But sometimes I have to recheck this thing that you didn't run. 
for the five minutes of really walking. He is more right. He is more pure. Right? He is maybe so pure to say what kind of person you really are. Coming to demolition. Humiliating you. And making you the stupidest thing in the world. I sit there watching a few old folks here coming really to tease me out and eat their prop and everything inside. In the last movie, I told what you did was hitting people from us, or from others, or maybe from us. I come here, I set your punishment here on my door, around my houses. I try to really make my my life so miserable so miserable as can be but around you are people i don't know what they are doing i also heard that you don't like me to see people that i worked with before you threaten them and that's how i live 40 years now what do you threaten people who work with me those are you threatening by hitting them or locking them up in jail or whatever i sit in here and acting like you are but now I know what I hear in the past. That you really lock them up and really say to them, don't go this way. We try to hit, get a hit on our side. Try to get a robbery here done. But a lot of you are going down with this thing. Because this is how I have to spend the night. With the empty, empty refrigerator getting from this ghetto neighbor here. Coming here to get on me, try to keep it the lowest thing in life to really wet me out to be dry as a motherfucker. <laughs> to be dry with even a dirty refrigerator. <laughs> and you all are sitting and laughing yourself out when people are doing those things which you see sometimes in South America. But if you are better, you try to do it by Africa. But you are really doing those too what you wish was you to really show me this life so there you came from me from you to cry a lot of things I can say about you but you all have coming I'm talking about you all hmm? coming here stealing fruit sitting here on your farm from your colony country can say it's Belgium, hmm? somewhere, and say that, sit there in uh, Uganda or something, and sit and become the worst thing in life. Don't want to do nothing, just want to steal here and run away back to Uganda. And sit there and watch if somebody comes. That's your life. And a lot of you are going to go with, uh, with Uganda and have nothing here comes maybe for the first time in a new lifestyle. So a lot of things like the rap that you think that you see yourself, you can forget. Because what you see is your nephew coming. So don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. To do this next time twice again. Because maybe you stand now somewhere in a documentary that people see you on television. Even this you want to ruin it. How? I don't know. It means that later this documentary is lost in space. That's maybe why. But you don't want to see yourself at all. Um, a worldwide television. So, I'm done speaking. This thing will continue the whole day. And then I'll show you how mighty a God is. I'm not going to show you maybe his ultimate might. To drag you away, maybe very good and beat you and those things. But if it's possible from God, maybe yes. But I don't think so. Because I'm too nice for this. But when he gives me the sign, it's time. So when it's time, it's time. So a lot of you can put those cards down. 
gives them to the right person. And a lot of faces are going to be turned to other people who are really in the games, who are really in the Olympics. And sometimes God is so nasty with you that you maybe are a terrorist or whatever. And even that, God can't want to get you. Even that thing. So, even the lowest move you don't want to give you. The lowest news you don't want to put it to. You want to say what you told me. Nothing. So God is going to prove it that you told me nothing. Because now you are sitting watching. And sitting with six packages of chips. Enjoying your life now. Six packages of chips. And a drink from Coca-Cola. Is not yours though. You can't eat a taste of it. You steal it. You think that you're important. People like you are no important to me. People like you will forever stay with nothing. Because that's what I need to say to get rid of you. Rid of people like you. So next time, go live somewhere in your house where you put the television on and see people talking who want to be interested. Because none of you will get this, and you brought all this down that you never will get it also. That's why you are sitting here in this thing. Because you promised to what you did to your God, asking or anything that you call God, or maybe you are God Himself, is the wish that you are going to get. So don't come to cry and show this with us. I think in 25 minutes. Because God likes me to end at 25. He doesn't want to give you three minutes of special time. So whatever you get, even those calling your kids or whatever around you, they can come from Uganda and there's nothing at all. See, you only to make problems. And one thing you don't know is about progress. This is for me on their first progress. Eating things for people. Like you always like to come and steal. Drinking from people. Enjoying stealing money. And come to war. That's everything that you uh, You really enjoy this thing. You know what I'm this thing. And I think that you're just an empty head. But you don't know nothing about it. People who need their supplies to survive don't know nothing about power, know nothing about it. You know only it's for you to get. That's what you know. So I, I'm thinking a lot of things. Are you new in a civilized world? <laughs> or is this really your behavior? But I see a lot of history in your behavior. At the time that you were stealing food from us, it's your behavior. So you all are sitting in this, and all the people in this. You think you're very dumb. But you all have totally nothing. And you know it. Just say to the public, it's maybe better for you to get relief from the whole thing that people are doing. Some people hold you and think that you are upset. My stomach goes and walks empty from this thing. This comes to me out. So good. It's just air. It's just air that I took too much. I think that was you. That's why you get air. You get air. You are swim the jump me and we are gonna get air. And the air that you breathe is you and nothing. I like this thing. It starts to move better now the program. Really going down to the conclusion about what you really are.
look at that. I walked to the fish head and he had stuff on bread, so no no time I didn't see it like why they put bread now in the fridge. I don't understand. But it's your thing because it's not allowed to take things from you people. But you come to sit in the house and put things in the fridge head in your own the whole kitchen. I never saw people taking over my kitchen like this. But you have a lot of guts. A lot of guts. So I keep on watching. I keep on counting down. Maybe I do it with someone else. <laughs> maybe I took over some kitchen for someone else. And did maybe this. So I'm thinking. And if you take something like that, that more, but you get a lot of yelling, a lot of bullshit. I said I still do something. Mm. Mm. You know, she go hard on pan, but I'm a yin slap. But that, I say no. Yin yell, I say but I'm a yin slap. You know. Why are you yelling me when I think of that? Or someone knows not to do that. Oh, you don't want to hear the breath. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Why? Because I'm gonna pay that. No, it's safe when I go in there. But the pound of the note, no, the pound of the note. It's safe when I go in there. It's safe for it. When the music goes on, it's safe when it's off. The moon will start to move the music. Okay. The world will not move. Why the note stay in the top? Yeah. Well, it's safe when 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 it's safe. Okay. Nice man, not in the party pound of the note. I see the music goes on again. Yeah, let's go again. Problem with that, yeah. I see the side of it, yeah. Okay. When you touch the bread of them, you get a lot of yelling and a lot of things. <laughs> Why? You people are so mad. Why? They have a single bread in the kitchen. I'm hungry, but I don't want to come. That's what I have to say. Otherwise, my mind is going to break. Why? Why what? Why you don't take bread? I don't need your bread because it's not the right to take that from you. Come on, because it's your thing, it's your right. <laughs> okay, he said it was out. He never said that he's a most deep pound of a pain. Oh yeah. He said it was not the No, I said it was not the Okay. He gave me the phone and he said, no, he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, okay. no, 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 so man, I want people like a Joe's party. The program, this program is about the uh, bread in your face every day. Don't offer me the bread, so I don't need it. Just make me kind of much better. Right? <laughs> but I don't need to take you there. I don't need to speak to you. I, I try to ask you first. Okay, that's a polite thing to me. I don't need your bread behind your back. Because you are living in poor time. But I see this as a robbery. And then you live in a poor time. Robbery. And then you try to say, you brought him up, that's not a robbery. You brought his knee back. Now you want to be your God. Even uh, I'm God. This bread is no good. They found it on the ground, they say. But that's not true. In the night, the door was open. He went in the kitchen, and the door was open. And the door was open because you went in the hope that an animal would come in the night and lay down. That's what you are. Uh, the the, the world for the end because we make a bunch of them aside to make a lot of them. But hard and dark. But they don't walk in. But the door was open. You put the bread there very good yourself because you don't know what you do. But you want to have a bread. Is it that you want him to be bread fit? That's all you heard. But you are saying that you maybe are the mother that uh, look after bread fit. I like to believe those things. He is a very nice guy. I'm God, I'm a nice guy, yeah. then you better make this. But he 
he is late, late, in, late in the middle of my son. Because I don't know why he waits for my son. But I'm young because he said there's no food that she can eat. Yeah. But maybe she can be this. But he don't believe me. Because he don't know he don't know what happened in the past. He went to bad time, he knows. And that's what he can say that maybe you because he don't have sugar in his own hotel and those things are gone as all your gang. But he is very mad. Because what he said is in five minutes no bread. I don't want nothing in to see from them that they ever did with us. Okay. That's him now. Yeah. And he said then my hands are clear for these people and I really can say crap. I don't need to spit like you, you can keep your spot. Okay. So I don't have history with these people. These people are new to me. And they did something in the past and I see them maybe in the past coming to the world. Try to rock and then they run paper. I take everything away from you because I don't like to do what you did in the kitchen, put me on the bread, and don't offer an other guy in the house a bread. I never like this. I'm not a person like you. And this person like you are for me forever out of my business, out of my life, and out of my house, out of my whole territory. I just want you to stay 2500 kilometers away from me. That's my wish. Okay. Because I don't like people like this in my house. When I'm in your house, then I don't need to be like this. So, now you would like to enjoy my lifestyle. I come back and I have to smoke this because I need to have some. Part three very quick you want only everything when you always have nothing so you come here to a company try to steal it or rob it and you want everything because you never have nothing in this company you never can go to a company where you work before and try to rob the part maybe yes and you want everything that you never want before everything that I can claim you want is that you broke in you sit me an animal attacked you you killed the lions and those things with the, the one who claimed today may be uh, really 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 he came at 60 he was standing at 12 o'clock today. He went outside and waved a lot of people. And that's how he uh, waved himself uh, out, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and he killed uh, a few animals here. And then you uh, let them be killed because you stole your first uh, credit cards again. Your papers. Well, your papers, maybe. And also the and then you came to sit here back again at the steel post. And now you sit here again, you never have nothing here. You want everything. Because you don't know what I'm talking about. And when you want everything, it means that you want also identity of a person. They want to be this person sometimes so bad that I don't know why you are sitting here. I'm doing this. But everything what I get to feel is how you kill those lions, maybe. You want to be this animal so bad. I'll tell you, I went. I want to be this beast. Because this beast is getting milk. This beast is getting meat. Look at what the beast is getting from food. I want to be this beast. He's getting it from them, from them. Yeah, and food he gets also. And that's how you kill this beast. So you're very dangerous. And there was one, two, three, four, five guys and three girls. And the leader of this operation are them two next to me. This woman and this woman. 
this man and this man. And the other man is supposed to watch it. Be something like a post guard. And the other man, the other man there, he's a bingo. The bingo is one to watch what kind of skin this animal has, no? He's watching the skin of the animal and think that he can make those kind of things from it. That's how you come to see our meaning. I don't know if you have uh, remorse or something. But those animals are something I had. They will be one from the leaf, man. They will be one from the paper. And that's how you did the Dalsalasias animals. Okay, wow. That's what she has nothing on you, sir. And that's um, five minutes on this story, man. I don't know how you can keep it up to sit here and watch me. So yeah, that's everything I can do. Else about this, I don't know. Sir. Maybe you can find a picture somewhere. I try to look it up. Watch it in the front of me. That's everything that you did. It's easy to find out that you all are maybe those market people. Standing on the market and buying and selling a lot of things that you may be taking from our company, Hollywood, and from our farm, those animals at the time of Jesus. A lot of things you are selling at the market. So maybe we have now a, a community of people who are sitting on, who are working on the market, and there you are selling a lot of things things that I don't belong to you for real. But you sold them very nice and that's what you did. Now you are maybe sitting here and uh, watching your old market going down. <laughs> because those markets are no more here. You're not welcome anymore and now the stores are here. And still you are doing it. For some people it's an addiction or something. And that's why you are sitting maybe in an apartment today and uh, watching how you uh, how you took the loot at the time. I'm gonna play a video for you and maybe you can see yourself in it. I think I'm about to change your thoughts. Mm -hmm. I'm about to change your thoughts. I think he brought people here and they don't know what we are doing here. Hits jam from web loaded it's calm. Show 
Now you know I'm changing for God. Something you never can change. Today we're gonna let's start with a song. Tonight we have already part in the middle. But now we're gonna listen to Ori Noko Flow. It's a uh, local locomotive, I think. Uh, local locomotive. And it's called Sell Away by Enya. And she made this song in a new version called an Eden Local Flow. <laughs> but uh, I call it Local Local Locomotive. Yeah, Local Local Locomotive is called. And that's the old song from this thing. And then we say, Say Ho Way, Say Ho Way, Say Ho Way. <laughs> And she sings sail away. Yeah. Maybe she got it in a new version. Let me read. 
time I've already started this thing. Check me here, check me here. You see, not so much in the song, this thing. But it's uh, one old Viking song. And it's calling Locomo. Locomo is that you are. Loco. Say ho, hey, say ho, hey, say ho, hey. At the time, we are sitting with the uh, Indians around in the campfire. And then we are doing some capoeira, maybe. And then you can do something like uh, movement. Caribbean. All the wind. All the way. Say ho, hey, say ho, hey. Say ho, hey. Yukalili, Yubali, Yukalili, Sibili, Austin Pitia, Shombalan, Sombale, and the song of Babylon is, we have this song many uh, times, many times we sing this thing, in many versions, and you have also the Egypt version of Ra. Shimbale, 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 Shimbale. Ero tindum Babylon, kida fi, kida fi, doli pienten sarion, vera fi, vera fi, konda restorarion, vera mi, dedo mi, ke virando fortinon. And you are saying that you are very strong. You tell people that you are going to be a warrior at the time, and then you collect every warrior, and then you have to say your part, what you want to be. So on this song, we say to a new warrior kid, come forward and uh, show us what you're going to do hmm? before we send you to battle. And then we send you to battle, and then you sing, say ho oh, hey, say ho oh, hey, say ho oh, hey. Say ho hey, say ho hey, say ho hey, me can feel, me can feel the guardian, hit a fear, hit a fear, then we send all the leon, then back here, then back here, me for the dosidion, ding dang, dang, and then comes the first mama, she say, you are la, you are la, you are la, welcome, ding. And then you Allah, you Allah, you Allah, welcome. And then you say, Are you really ready for this? And then you say, Vitamir, Vitamir, di Vidasto Merion, Timbali, Timbali, di Kiti Kitoreo, Hetasi, Hetasi, Miti Katoreon. And then you say that you are some kind of recognizer or something. And when you are a recognizer, you are good for the army, really. 
and then we expect you to be made in spy also and then uh, the law woman stands up Yifadir, Yifadir, can you feel the Nelion? Tifadi, Tifadi, Tifiti, Lole Leon. And then you say, Bi, Boom, Gerale, Gerale, Gerale. Fero de, Fero de, Fero de, de. Mirage, Mirage, Mirage. And then you say, No, I'm the general. <laughs> I'm the one who's sitting on it. On the first. Uh, <laughs> Never first uh, the guardians. Uh, never first watch <laughs> of all the guardians. And they say, "You lazy, you lazy, you lazy, yo kidok, holy fool, holy fool, do you feel the nebi yok?" And then you say that you are very strong. Um, there you very strong, uh, general. So that's why um, I always say that I'm a general. Other kids considered to recognize that other ones are lieutenants, other ones going to be a sergeant, the other one is going to be something else, a captain, etc. 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 And that's how this song is prepared to you on this island that we are making our guys warriors at night. Now a lot of warriors are gone, they are not uh, the ones who are sitting out here. You are new on the island. You can say now these last group are the ones maybe 400 years old they are only so um when i met yesterday i was met a few people that i have to be met at your sister and your older sister again and your older sister again neighbor woman and your neighbor woman has to be met about your sister and your sister and your sister so the apart <laughs> so i have uh, i'm really yelling at you at home maybe you who are sitting out today at home and now I see that you are bigger than the things that are here on my turf now. The things on my turf are not so old than you, 400 years something. But um, the woman we saw yesterday is, uh, in the, on the Facebook um, who came on the law school and was sent to the guardian and um, hit on one of my women at the time or one of my daughters, I don't know what it was exactly. It was things I came <laughs> And I see that uh, I have to replace you girls sometimes for another girl. And I have to replace these faces for other faces from their older brothers. And these ones are new and they learn every skill of you from the past. Yeah. How to mistreat us and make us little. How to stop us in the army. That's what uh, they learn from you. How to make us make one bread and those things. You know. <laughs> they are uh, 1980 in this time. time. So let's, uh, let's say 20 years ago, 25 years ago, you learned them how to give us one sandwich, one drink, and one nothing to become nothing that you have made your Shatawala with again. <laughs> but you guys like Shatawala on the island who are really officers. So uh, a few officers are now maybe not so hot and not on schedule and not focused for what they are. When I'm talking about the gang around me, but first, um, yeah, just there are older kids from uh, the other leaders. They are guarding now, and you come to guard. So a few of you are new. So if I watch this, I have to watch maybe a guy in Holland. I was thinking about a few guys like I know maybe you, Kevin, and those things. <laughs> and now there's a need of and those things. I happen to take the places of these women. Um, a lot of Sabrina had to take the place of this woman, <coughs> and they were doing those things at the time here, also with uh, selling those things that are products from the army. So um, you are all new, a little bit, and some things uh, you not can feel about the time that maybe Flavor is seeing you on the market selling things that are from Hollywood or from the army recruits that I have to get here you were selling those things and it was not really you it was maybe your brother or your sister the older one who maybe is now sitting in Holland and working some are working for a, a company like Philips now <laughs> and some are working uh, in the office some are working as insurance some are working in stores 
so now you are maybe um, yeah we thought you were a lot of things that you are getting normal and now you are sitting in the, the bigger counties of America and those things in England and you are maybe doing better now than you did before I hope that you're better and maybe you have still something to do with uh, those crimes of stealing of the past maybe you're still a healer someone sitting with and having some stolen stuff in the house still maybe that something's coming because some are here on the island maybe still running that thing from father to son and son and it goes on like the lottery salesman is doing this from his grandpas and from his great grandpas those who were before here and now I'm sitting maybe in a, in a light of skin somewhere and putting the heat on me again <laughs> uh, and the other generals so we are sitting here and doing our best to try to get these new ones who are maybe a little bit forward in time and forward in thinking to get you uh, a forward start in 2023 otherwise uh, there's no army you're gonna sit here uh, for your forest and jungle and sit down and watch the survival I don't give a damn if you don't do, you don't do if you like, you go mm. but if you like to miss a lot of things in life I say to you uh, don't regret that you are maybe in the let's, uh, let us watch us a uh, thousand years later then you don't have to regret that you are maybe sitting here and doing nothing you're not going to say that I was making movie, I was making music, I was doing this you were sitting here and robbing an island now Zeman is coming here to the island and you're going to rob it maybe and rob a lot of things a lot of baby stuff, baby lotion and those things if this your future then you're going to sit around and next time I say I was doing nothing and you get nothing like a few sisters of them they have not really much achieved they are sitting and stealing things and some are walking their castigo we call it their crime still here today um, those who did crime they are still walking in Ireland a little bit disappointed and wants to pay back what they did in the past a few of them are walking really old and sitting around those things and drinking but they are sitting with a problem that they stole things at the time and want to get yeah some sorry for it sometimes that's why they are sitting here in garden for free maybe and sitting there to drink, to drink rum and things <laughs> that's why they are also happy with ten dollars yeah this is what you do what you want when you did wrong in the past then you don't want much then you are happy with ten dollars then you are sitting around and saying this is everything for me <laughs> uh, the blames are going for real that I'm yelling sometimes to the ones who are sitting in countries like England, Holland, Germany and Belgium they are sitting really there they were the ones who really stole at the time and you are sitting here like the one who learned from father to son nay father to brother again uh, nay uh, yeah. uh, from your father did it and your brothers and your brothers yeah, your father and your brothers. How to uh, sit around in this in this scam that you are sitting in? Like names like Johannes, uh, guys who are stealing uh, chickens, roasters, uh, the man chickens. Yeah, that's your name, Johannes. You steal them from the farm and you're gonna bring them on the market and sell them. We have names like uh, <laughs> giraffes, those things. Giraffes are those things who are stealing uh, maybe goats, I don't know. Giraffes, no goats, uh, I think are something with a goat. You steal a goat and then you put it on the market and sell it. <laughs> um, sometimes also those jackets. Uh, jackets. No, jackets. <laughs> jackets for the movie or something. <laughs> you stole them and then uh, sell them on the market. Um, there are so many names. Sabrina is uh, stealing juice. Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> um, those names you get now, in, uh, that's where you're walking with now, because you, Johannes is the one who can steal a goat or a chicken uh, or whatever. Kind of be an animal from the farm and put it on the market. That's the yo. <laughs> you have to go to Johannes. Johan is uh, stealing a lot of roasters <laughs> um, man chickens um, I have more names yeah every you can watch those names uh, yourself uh, Ashley those names 
So you also put your teeth on the rope and you can get your goat on the rope very quick. <laughs> uh, both names. You are running today with and there you are from this family that stole at the time of Sema and Flavor are standing on the market and Sema was not really happy with you guys. So because you came here and we wanted you to dress up for Hollywood, but you started stealing the loot. Those things that you have to wear in the movie, you wanted to steal and put on the market. You didn't want a fan, like those things, or the window or the air conditioning thing. In your vacation house, you wanted to come here and really make a disaster and go away again. And that's how many from you come here and you go back one day to the big world and you stay there and then you are sitting there and then you have sometimes that you are waiting in the fabric and that's the way how you pay it back. Um, the ones who are um, sometimes, yeah, you, everyone is sometimes one time movie star and these are most times in the thing. <laughs> like uh, that's just in those things and uh, the other two leaders are your stands also of you doing to do. Other ones are your brothers. Uh, I just talked about the Kevin guy that I know from uh, season. He's also uh, a lot of things that he did. <laughs> The movie maybe and then he came back. Uh, Kevin is a little bit market fight. <laughs> he likes people a little bit to see the loot and then he's going to fight and sometimes he fights and sometimes he <laughs> doesn't. Okay. Uh, that's his name. Kevin. Uh, yeah, the one I sent to find what is told, that's, that's what he's fighting again. <laughs> so he's protecting the ones who are stealing. <laughs> And sometimes you are working now uh, in the kind of business that you are doing work in Holland. You are sometimes cleaners also, watching in the clean business and trying to clean everything away what you did in the past. Maybe. <laughs> but it's not there to clean up. <laughs> but um, yeah, what I wanted to tell in this uh, movie day from today is we are talking movie. It's God gift, and God is giving me a lot of things like this to know and that I can wash away the tears that things are going wrong now I say oh these are many brothers oh these are only the loot oh I don't even know in the rental house oh mm -hmm. okay um oh these ones being played on diamonds <laughs> oh mm -hmm. this one so you, you see if um yeah, this one is new and it's uh, another package from people who came to uh, their brother, uh, their brother, their sisters and brothers who all did it. <laughs> so if you, I get the mask off, I see the face maybe willing and able. These, guy, these kids can maybe willing and able to do something now. Maybe to make a change. Maybe the, because they're very quiet and but they have nothing to say also. <laughs> maybe they like to steal on because they learn a few things. You like maybe to steal on, or you are willing and able to get this education and think that you want to become something in this, in this king, in this kingdom, as you say, Pony Greg. Um, I always tell you can come here and you have the possibility to become minister working, you can say, and work in the government or in the town government, uh, local government, and those things that you are a responsible person that you learn. But then your brother will come back one day and also wants to be responsible on it. But then you are with one brother maybe or one sister happy that you are doing some responsible work and you put your family back in responsibility. A family with responsibility means that you like that your family, everyone has work, that everyone has a good housekeeping and house family. That's what you uh, can be proud of. And that you know that you are having a family, let's say your family is using a product like Nivea or something, that you really know this where we stand for, this what we have on our country and that we are using this and that we are, our country is getting rich by it. And we are driving or maybe on old cars or Mercedes and that you are really doing something to be in this, that you are really in and that you feel that you are Life is a life of pleasure and good breathing and love. That's important to you. You don't want to be a family that has a brand called Renault and that you are driving a Mercedes. 
this is giving you a bad breathing you want to breathe healthy you say oh uh, we have Mercedes juice and we have also let's say because you have always two or three Hyundai and we have Renault you can say we have those three types to choose because you have not only one type then you have a breathable life everything is working smooth in your family yeah by tax tax money you uh, don't have to pay a lot of tax when you do everything all right okay when you are having a car that's not as, as supposed to be in your family then you have to pay a lot of tax and those tax are maybe in a year something like your whole family is paying one million maybe on tax only hmm? and that's not so nice because you are troubling another family that you are driving their car brand and that you are using their product so you want to be a natural person with no stress you want to have a happy family that you can come and sit and talk with each other and that you can see loved ones married and those things that you have a happy Sunday visiting each other that you really are going out to some amusement park and really enjoy your life and that you are going on vacation, that you have your sports that maybe someone is doing pro uh, professional sports and those things are have we have to all work together to arrange this thing again then you can see really things are coming out also Olympics and those things um, so if you also stop the stealing we have a lot of things to get which of course you killed a lot of people uh, uh, in, in countries like Morocco those people don't know what kind of toothbrush they need to use anymore because you stole the whole loop and if I watch the, 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 the thing the feet of people and uh, sometimes the pimples on their face uh, from people like in uh, from the east of uh, Europe the people uh, do not can brush normally they don't know if they use Armex or Colgate or the other product or whatever you are taking those rights away from them and you make them feel bad by just stealing one of them and making everyone dirty and if I watch those Moroccans are maybe your family is yourself that's the most like many sometimes the part of Morocco that's really don't have in it is your family that you are maybe turning down like this they have no um, they don't feel themselves comfortable Turkish also Yugoslavia also Hungaria also now we have Polish people they don't know how to how to have their thing running good now so you are a big problem of this and that's what I want to warn you about that you have to be normal if you do normal everyone knows what to use some people have those things they, they don't like the smell and those they don't know what kind of smell is on the market for them while their, their people chose the, the brand and the smelling already of the perfume this thing is for them now it stands there and nobody knows that Fahrenheit is from the let's say maybe uh, from the, the Swedish people and then you have uh, other types like OGD from the India people they don't know what kind of perfume or eau to eau de toilette they need to use it's all because you are still one you are still maybe only the one of me <laughs> but they don't know what to do now so you really making things really the space that people are not walking everywhere nice so you can say you can say that you have a nice life sometimes but if everyone in your county or in your street is not look, looking up and top nice and they don't have all a nice house they don't have sometimes you have those rich neighborhoods you know when you come there everything is sometimes too quiet because you make it maybe that they have a nice home but they don't have no pleasure in the street hmm. everything is worth sitting beside everyone is sitting behind the TV they have no sweet party those things they miss because you are stealing so why why they can say that they have a happy home while you have to sit inside and not can greet your uh, neighbors normally like I have now maybe I try to uh, make a harmony in the street and try to make something but you see this one is having a century stolen from me there and his truck of bread and there's nothing to get with them not, not, not a talk I don't want to wave at all you <laughs> If I walk by at you uh, there downstairs in the tricky bank, 
I don't want to wait at you at all. I, 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 uh, hello is coming. <laughs> hello. If everything that you can hear from me when I pass you by in your seat, is that for you a street to be happy? Is that why you need to steal my breath and say, that is nice, you want to be, hello, how are you doing? What are you doing with the scars around and this case are also stolen? Nobody wants to talk with you here. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk with you at all. <laughs> when you're stealing things, nobody wants to talk and I'm sitting around with you. Nothing they want from you. <laughs> I don't want my time. I want to sit around behind this PC and looking for a few good people. A few good men only. <laughs> Those few good men that are maybe knowing that I'm going to do something. And they know already how I do it and I sit and stay quiet still. Because <laughs> when, when it's walking away from this, when it's coming and this is where you sit, then you're good. <laughs> but not with people who are really want to talk about life. When I'm leaving this thing, it's gonna be like this, this desert that you're gonna see in Star Wars. This is gonna be a desert because that's the thing that I left here behind for you to sit there. Not finishing my Star Wars movie there <laughs> and starting here. You gonna make this thing so desert, you know, uh, how sometimes the desert man sleeps in Star Wars. <laughs> that's how they want it. Um, because the sand walk is coming over you, fuck fuck. <laughs> you know what the sand is? I tell you a sample, I say, I see the neighbor with this blockade walking, a mask, of a lot of sisters and brothers who did run me. This whole mess here, if I'm leaving, this whole mess, I just make it all. Nay, this mess was something, a volcano for you, for a really pure lava, hot, that was leaving over nothing. Yeah, at all. Now it's all sand, like a big sand, because I don't know now if this was your brother, your sister, your this, your this, your this. This was God that's gonna do with a lot of sand storm over you and bomb. It's gonna be a death of you. You want the pubic already for you. <laughs> Don't cry that I'm sitting here. That is his problem. We coming back later. And I got to do a lot of sand over you. <laughs> It's not my character. from all of you. I do it. I do it. I do it. I do it. I do
Normally I'm not gonna say that. Normally I do my like, god. Mm. But uh everyone is everyone is different. But then I'm thinking of John to see a lot of things that see the earth walking and all the people around you that see us. All the earth people, the ones that we are living on, and the ones in the sky, the demons, the dragons, uh, the dragons, and the big dogs. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> maybe, but I found that thing. This big creature is uh, very special. And he gives you every day the best. The best. And the best of the best means that you are having your own fragility, you are becoming yourself. And a lot of us are sitting with a lot of people in our problems. Like things that you want to maybe talk to your neighbors or your loved ones. So, if you really a human power. Some of you don't understand why uh, it's good to pay the gods and the birds and the, the gods around them, the whole family of gods, and the bigger gods and the bigger gods again until it comes back to you again. Yeah, is that you also want to be praised by your kids. You also want your kids to uh, maybe sing something for you that you are a sweet man in the family or whatever. And those things are giving you power. Sometimes you may have to get emotional uh, for those things. You cry, but those cries give you the power of what is giving you back your face instead of I don't have my face. <laughs> um, it's because things are you know, yeah, not there. My kids want to help me doing those things, but they are supposed to do that. <laughs> um, having a good day, obviously. So, yeah, for you, uh, I don't know why you are like a question, but those things are giving you uh, health. And that's the biggest season when you better can place uh, the gods uh, and everything. It's giving you a wealthy, a wealthy feeling that's more than gold, more than money, more than having everything in, in life, you can say. You know what I mean? It gives you also the power to get also what you want. Uh, by honesty, by good doing, and by talking with people around you. It's like you want uh, in your street maybe a playground, then you have to talk with the whole street and get a playground. And those things you achieve with talking with everyone, and they are helping you out to get this thing. Yeah, then you can think about the place and location for those things and the safety in you. A safety turf to get this, and it gives you power because you can play outside, maybe some basketball or maybe some street hockey or whatever. It gives you power uh, now, of course, it's important um, to let everyone. Some people are saying it's foolish, and sometimes you are stuck. Person working in the government, and you are maybe stuck with problems that you are maybe holding up. I don't know what kind of people are stuck. Um, you see, they are watching. And, you know, a career is a career is not that you are standing above everyone, but that you have a good time for yourself. Uh, you can go upstairs and do maybe some things on the on the real thing. You can, Make something, you can follow things, you can do uh, a lot of things, fixing your motorcycle or whatever. Um, and I'm just opening up and I don't know if you're going to do that, you don't want to stand there. 
uh, those things. Uh, or just have a nice uh, monopoly game with your family, and your kids. Or just a chess game or a checkers game. Dumb one. Um, sitting around and just put the television out for a while and say, let's talk to our family, let's have some tea and uh, reminisce sometimes. Those things uh, are all given by God when you praise Him. When you praise Him on Sunday, you have sometimes people who come to visit you and give you Bible study. It's very important because you are studying the law for them. And you're studying the stories that happen. And you are studying in how to deal with conclusions. And for the extra high in us, is that we never want to forget that this book is very good for your kung fu skills and those things. Uh, it's like God has given you by this place a lot of things. Um, a lot of things to. So much things in the book that you can uh, when you hold gymnastics school next time. In a basketball game, you can uh, win every sport with this thing that you are learning in the Bible, and that you even can uh, win at work with your knowledge of the Bible. It's just like those ten commands are so powerful that your business will look very nice, cleaned up every day. Your office is going to be clean. You don't have to uh, stress. If you listen, that you maybe you have a lot of phone calls at work. If you are working and you stay there alone for a month, you have three people at work. You can get those things. You can arrange that they all get on the same salary as you. Of course, there's all government that's saying, okay, this work is too much for you. You can work for three. Okay, and you have one on the lookout, one on the lookout. Then. So you can work very easily and have a good time. It takes, it takes stress away. And the Bible gives you subjects like the, your family life, when something is going wrong in your family, that you easily can talk with your colleagues about family life, that's not going well at home. Uh, sometimes, even if you work in a store, you can say, let's, we have a, a little store, maybe, let's go to the store, and let's talk about this thing today, it's not going well. And say, in some little communities, you can do those things. Today business, I don't see that I can do, maybe because something is happening at home that I need to be better at home than at, at, at my work. When you are religious, those things are very quick understandable. You can get also very quick uh, replacement. Somebody, someone who's next to your place for a day or something. If you are doing maybe work in a store or whatever. Uh, those things are all in religion easy to get. Easy to get when you are um, in the community with religion. Things are smooth. It's like an oil machine. Uh, at work, in the company, and everyone is having religion. You can say, what the heck? We don't eat at 5 o'clock, we eat at 7 o'clock today. Then, then you are having always a solution. Maybe if someone has to go very quick, just take this money or whatever, or then you can have something that you can do to make sure that everyone has their thing to get. That's only with religion, not with things when no one is believing. When no one is believing, you don't want your colleague to uh, eat in the restaurant. <laughs> Caused by maybe the company, and that you are maybe uh, saying, we are, Yeah, yeah, we are doing something else. You know, like, <laughs> that we are maybe eating at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, and you have to maybe work or you can go very quick to get snack bar or whatever you have to do to be quick again and work on. And those things. Uh, when you are religious, you feel when you get good for your boss, you feel when you can maybe say, Today we made so much money, let's celebrate this day. That's only a religion. If you don't have a religion, you not can do those things. <laughs> because then you know, you know the rules as you When you have religion, the rules are easy. 
is meant to die. <laughs> you come to your meetings and everything sounds like you already doing what something church, some or Bible school. Or at home that they are giving you lessons of the Bible. So um, it's also um, sometimes uh, the Christian and the Jehovah's and there sometimes the Catholics also they come at your home on Wednesday, give you lessons, you can sit down and drink tea with them. It's like you always have some kind of tea in the house when they are when you have this. Of course, the church takes sometimes the tea for me. Or he is paying, or you are paying, or the church is paying. <laughs> because then you have always tea and coffee and cookies and cake and So, you don't have to sit sharply. Like, I don't know. It's just as the person by the way, and then they say, yeah, tea is coming. <laughs> yeah, it's those things you have to think. And I think the views are all those in the world, the young guys, to be a survivor. Study with, and but if there are, then you have always something. And what you also uh, have when you are going to the church is always a suit, hmm. nice shoes, summer shoes. You have also those things to clean your shoes, <laughs> those things make you a man. So, just by praising God, you get so many power that you are. Uh, a strong human, a strong husband, and then you are an individual. You don't have to come because uh, make a competition with your neighbors. It's not necessary. It's about power, mind, and work, and making jokes. All day. <laughs> you don't have to sit around uh, competing that the, uh, the other one is having maybe new furniture and you know. You don't have to compete. Because the religion, you know, there is more power. You, you say, wow, they have, uh, you, your, mom, your woman can be saying, they have furniture, I want it too. Okay, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Even talk can sometimes save you six months later, you buy it or something. <laughs> Just have a talk with a woman. Just go out with her. In religion, you can do a lot of things, a lot of jokes. Just walk around with her. How much money we have? You have to save it. And just put it one dollar every time. Yeah, maybe I think we are getting there. You can say, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be smart and we can go also to the city hall and say, You want to be uh, a nice physical, uh, uh, you want to be a nice family, you want to have some nice and Okay, I also give you some extra. Okay, you need so much things when you are um, in this thing like church that you can go on Sunday and ask maybe. I need furniture, and some people say, Yeah, uh, you can go to city hall and those things uh, because you have no competition. You don't you want uh, them to have something because you can say, Yeah, when well, you are coming out uh, at us home, uh, home giving us Bible study, I want you to sit on a nice, comfortable table. Then they are giving you a very quick solution because you don't want to have jealousy. And the real God lovers don't have jealousy because you are the one who's going to give them study. On a Wednesday, and you want to sit also comfortable, don't make your life fucked up by go sit on a, on a cracky chair, giving them lesson while you can make them also. <laughs> you, you, you are you deciding yourself how you want to live. If you like to go to people who are poor, then you are someone who don't like yourself. If you like to go and make people rich and let them feel good, what kind of rich, what, what, kind, of, uh, what kind of rich they want to be. Uh, then you are sitting good because you can go to a ghetto and give them maybe some study. But when you come, you can sit on a nice chair. On, on a nice chair. <laughs> wow, the house is uh, they are painting. They are making a comfortable spot. A comfortable spot. Then you can walk in with your suit and say, "Wow, I go to a ghetto. I go to a nice house in the ghetto." <laughs> yeah, and the ones are following maybe next to them. So you make yourself a happy person by making everything around you also happy. If you make your life outside the ghetto, when you are in, and you are alone, the one who's having a tie in a suit, why should you? <laughs> why should why why should you do those things? 
you make them outside together and you come there in your suit with them in the bank and then uh, and then you want to walk in the house and your shoes are dirty again because it stands a lot of a whole lake with the rainwater right before your door and nobody's fixing the the, uh, the thing the pedestrian road <laughs> so who are you to make yourself so ugly in this that's the same if you want to be a soldier with uh, no harm you want only the desert stone uniform and you don't want the elite uniform what kind of what kind of soldier you want to be only sitting on one and never have to never have a dance party that you get dance lessons and everything and that you are sitting real there as a general or no you know you want to be only the cheap soldier and then you have no life with it <laughs> because this lieutenant can also sit at a party and can also have a nice suit on and those things <laughs> finally finally you eat the uh, respectable cake there you are making your life stupid so if you are a gangster just come to tell uh, you are only a gangster when you really want to sit the talk and harness the talk you must sit there around and have a $15 profit in the thing that you are turning down to become a ghetto holder or something <laughs> so uh, everything depends on yourself if you like the world you like god but if you like god you win if you don't like god forget about it you win nothing it's easy you lose everything around you for it because then you will sit always in the ghetto and have nothing so be happy what you need to do the thing is the thing how to play gangster when some monkey or key monko wants to come here and make this gangster here local local the king yeah you're gonna do everything. You sit around and you do everything. You're gonna collect a lot of people with you. Yeah. This whole thing is, yeah, 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 that's a gangster. Yeah. This man is gonna be the gangster and standing number two, maybe in the world. Yeah. And you are saying, yeah, this man is everything. I'm gonna hold him down, hold him down, hold him down, hold him down. Yeah. And then this man stands almost at the top because he say, I'm not afraid of the king. That's what he's gonna say. Yeah. I kill him, bang. <laughs> I'm the king again. I'm the king again. I'm the king again. I like it. Why? Because I'm the boss. He's not the boss. Well, you can better sit quiet there and check it like yes. See you then, yeah. Because you're not a mortal. So, hey, this afternoon, I'm going to call you here, see if you send me a search book. Oh, no, I said. Name me, I said, you're going to call me. So I go ask him all the next. No, 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 I'm some ghost that you know to know. Yeah. This happens on the phone, 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 phone. Yeah. And it's like deep in the pocket, you know. It's deep. It's like the next house, it's going to be like, 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 you are the one with your husband put me in the forest at the time of Hansa and Hitcher. Yeah. And then I you put me in the forest because you wanted to steal my things from the Viking time, my amulet, those peanuts and those peanuts. You know what I talked about already? Yeah. Well, you too. But at the first school fucking, you get a lot of things. And all the food comes to you, eh? Yeah. You're getting all the food, so yeah. And that's how you sit in the back of China there sending at the time everyone here to come and fight me and you can sit around and eat and eat and bring them and sending everyone so you are from there again yourself that's what you want to play now man but you are sitting in the back and all those things are individual families but you are the one who is the stronger because you have all the food first especially what you store and you can't fight things and things then you send everyone here, and everyone comes here, and they are coming really lightly. But they have, they have in their heart, they hate, and they still 
he wants us to get us down. Yeah. But now you're finding him. But when you are finding him now, when you want to give yourself the fact the first time coming, you know that you have no energy, no this, no this, no this, you know, no uh, Olympus. <laughs> Everything you missed in your life. Because you are the one who went the first time to become a rich from your eating and sit behind and send and can send everything what you like and now you sell it out in your money. You pay to see where you can find them. One time at home and you came inside to my parents and tried to uh, come in and they were looking after us here yeah? and tried to steal the house and then put the house as a museum down. And that's how you chased me away. Saying these folks are no good, they are they were. Put them in the forest again, and then you put them again in the forest. But then it was already killed us out. And then the time starts for Clarissa, maybe. But they just never know. Clarissa is already one of those things. And that's the time started from those things that we are doing here. That is the Wachter, and they Wachter was in here. No, Wachter was in here, that's right. Wachter, you watch your brain, that's it. You send me there to see and they are gonna shock me because God will give you the blessing to be in the lower laughter. Okay. <laughs> because you are sitting there in the back and still eating. You still don't have any? <laughs> and you're eating and eating, but the house you don't have, you have nothing. <laughs> you're just sitting there in a normal house and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting and dissipating. Everyone comes here, they get movie, they get this, they get this, because I say you better can be friendly against me. <laughs> but for deep in the heart, they came for something. They excuse you that, eh? And you say, I sent you to Curacao to, to have you been there. And you're going to watch how they live. And if you come back, I want to see how they live. And then they came back, and then they have those pictures. You say, I was once there, and I say, I want nothing to do with those pictures. Because I can stop you there, and I can do it, and stop you there somewhere. And then you say, you have these things of picture, that's why I come to watch. I was saying just that. Then you came, yeah, you came a long time now. At least I passed already in those days. You came here when we had the first time uh, moving. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then you wanted nothing to do with this because maybe your ghost is staying on this, on this book, on this movie screen. Yeah, and then you run away very good. <laughs> and then you say, I don't want nothing to do with this. And then you send me to that. They wanted something to do with it. Now you leave. Now you leave it on this hate and you might take us. Try to take me over like you are boss and all those things. And you expose you are very cold and so don't give them food, don't give them this. Was I here? Nay, she said it was otherwise. Okay, okay, okay. But even that you don't get some right. <laughs> you know why you don't get nothing you are saying in the first palace you for each other. Nobody has respect for Indian princes, but God has respect for us. That's why God is giving you totally nothing. No, they could benefit. No, answer benefit. You keep your little man mix. You keep your little man that you die, you find a house in the evening. Yeah, that can't be ugly. You find a house in the sister. Yeah, that can't be ugly. But you have to run the community that you have in Paris, of course. You can't only find a house in China. Yeah, you can't be ugly. Any special place you can find a couple of markets in. Daar in de vader ook heeft, ja, die krijg je gewoon echt wel. Maar daar begon je, en dan vader ook was. En dan kleine kabinaten zitten, dan weet je altijd zo in elkaar weer. Dat zijn hun, ze zijn iets aan het bouwen. Dat zijn hun, ze zijn iets aan het bouwen. En zo, en dan heb je hem gekwetst. Dus hij is leuk hier en dan te eten. En dat is God. Zo zit ik God te kijken naar jou uit de dag. En God weet dat ik gewoon kwaad ben. Heel kwaad. Je moet gewoon rennen als ik zeg, er ruikt één keer op de video stuur. Hm? Ja. Of, want je bent oud op de kaart, dan ben je net in één, je staat een oude leeftijd. Maar zij zegt dat je al zo eruit, hier nu, dan moet je gelijk nooit meer komen. Hm? En toen die dacht dat ze ruzie had, toen hij zei eruit, had je gelijk moeten weggaan. Dan kon je zeggen dat je geen indiane respect hebt en alles wat hebben gemaakt met fucking leven loopt, je tevreden. Ja. Dan kan je beter rennen dan. Dus, uh, als je niet rent, dan ga ik zien hoe hoog je straffen zijn. Weet je wel wie die rent? Ik ben bij de huis die belangrijk is, maar ook een meisje van mijn kind nog. Dat vind ik wel belangrijk. Ik kan het niet meer zo. Hij zei, ik pakte het zo goed, dat ik niet weet wat ik Waar komt het? Ja. Dus, 
Dame tu post con el Messi, me el Prince, el Princess que Bro, I'm the Prince of Wales Or King <laughs> King is the worst of me That's his phrase Or Nathico, then I'm here, I'm on it Dat betekent dat je de hele Viking clan niet meer begrijpt moet zijn. Elke keer voor een met mijn oom deel gezet. Dat heb je ook gedaan. Dan heb je gezet op afstand. Hoe was je hier op bezoek? Hoog bezoek kwam binnen. Van een meiden. Dat was een mooie vrouw. Hm? Ik zeg, kom dit. Hoog bezoek. Dus ja. En toen ben je in Haas was je tijd. Ja, die tijd ben je van de rijden. Maar ze kunnen niet zien. Nee, toch zullen jullie zien. Dus ze snel met de eerste, de eerste kleedkaart. Ja, Flojo, de moeder, verdacht naar jou, ben je gaan vluchten, toen ben je gaan zitten aan de grond, maar zo ben je daar niet meer gegeven. En dan ben je weer door. Ja. Ja. Ik die kaart in de leven. Heb je veel respect voor deze huis? Deze huis heb ik veel respect voor. Geen respect voor? Geen respect voor dat je mij hebt? Zit je op mijn stoel? Zit je met je niet aan de vrouw? Geen respect voor dat je mij daar hebt? Nee. Dat zit echt een keer dat was, hè? Maar... Die doet die vier zo op de armen. En we zitten allemaal in een grote groep van het huis nu. Ja. Dus jij misschien wat woord. Ja, oké. Okay. Jij misschien wat woord. Of zeg ik dat een man met de vrienden. Maar <laughs> je hebt even wat woord. <laughs> of tilt je gewoon zo hard dat je het dag van je woord hebt. Nee, je hebt even wat woord. <laughs> je bent niet dat dan maak je nog kort. Ik, nee, ik maak je even wat woord. Laat je schier je over de hele fucking aarde heen nog kort. Ik maak je hebt even wat woord. <laughs> of dat je in ieder geval goed zit. Maar je woord moet heel mooi zijn, man. Ben je wel gepast in deze groep? Ja. Uh, je wordt er juist best laat uit de dag. Als je dat niet weet, dan is je er naar het woord. Ja. Dus uit de dag zit je daar. Je nog iets van 3 uur. Ja. Eén uur heb ik naar huis gegaan, even leeg. Maar als je dan uh, met deze machine dat je, ah, dat, dat, uh, ja. dat je misschien komt integreren weer als normaal te doen. Want het is nog steeds moeilijk om je aan te passen dan niet. Ja. Ja. En dan zijn het Oké. Okay. Dat is wel drie. Ik ben nog steeds vier dagen, maar ik kom bij. Dat is vier dagen. Dat is een oude vrouw. Oude vrouw. Oude vrouw. Dit is nog steeds gewoon kinder van de oude vrouw. En ik was zelfs op de ene. God ben ik. Dat was het ja. Je bent gewoon een, een, een vrouw die een keer, toen was die een, 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 in de vijfde tijd ging gewoon in het bos en een beetje achter en zo ben je misschien een beetje voor de vijfde tijd. Ik ben gewoon een zeven tijd. Maar ik weet wel niet of zeven en dertig kwam. Ik zou mijn zeven wel zoeken van mij om aan de net te spelen in de vijfde tijd. En die drie, die zoek ik ook. Dat is dus zeven en dertig, jij bent zeven en drie, zit die nog. Die heeft heel wat gejat in de Richard uit. Deze is nog erger dan de jouw die is nog in de Richard uit gekomen. En dan is ze nog gestorven. Dat is hoe erg kwaad mee. Nu nee, wat? Als je aanpast, ben ik lief. Ja, ik zie dan weer oude, de Mas Bielkoe van Robotie, dat vrees gewoon. En dat vrees is vijf keer wat die bent. Dat is heel leuk. Ja, maar laat die vrees daar zien. Een big lesson I learned from God is dat. You are sitting uh, maybe in my houses. Yeah, maybe in my houses. You are sitting in my houses. Sorry. And uh, God is showing that I can uh, prove. Uh, he has proved that it's no good. Because uh, your kids are paralyzed by this. And by stealing the salary and the cards, your kids also became paralyzed. And you are searching for other oasis and saying that can uh, be helped by putting the kids on other ways. Not true. Because when the time that you are stealing, those kids are getting paralyzed when they go to the oasis. This one from your kid went on the oasis when I was little. And you were stealing this house, uh, you know, by the credit cards and you were holding them. And then your kid became paralyzed. The other kid also became paralyzed. And that's how um, you play. And you may you have your other kids now that you are afraid of and you put in them. But my older woman for me to watch them now. That's how you want to fool uh, my woman that uh, the kids are from the past from them, while the kids are your kids yourself, the ones who sit in my house. And your kids are sitting at my woman, my woman has to take care of them, a lot of, a lot of work and those things. 
you have to wear, watch them yourself. And yeah, yeah, God has proven that uh, when you steal those things, your kid has become paralyzed. And you have a bad life. Your first generation kids, your first kids are gonna become paralyzed. Your second kids have maybe this thing already getting the limping and those things. A little bit uh, psychotic diseases are getting. So I think it's best for you. Uh, yeah, I yell a lot of things at you, but a lot of things are uh, not this, but it's that your kids are becoming sick when you are sitting in someone's house or on the turf or someone and stealing credit cards and what you're holding them to become someone stealing identity means that you uh, have your other sons trying to steal my identity while they have to give their genetical power to their sister who is now paralyzed because they were taking an element away from your family yeah that goes away to try to be me and that's why their sister is paralyzed and that you are sitting in the house that's also where they, why, why they are paralyzed they the paralyzes the house and the cars uh, the car thieves are getting this thing yeah they were walking this thing so you better can stop what you're doing means that god is uh, big in how we made human and if you steal then you have only problems problems really problems you see so i have one word for this thing just uh, believe in god and then you're the best and do whatever is best for you to be honest i hope you all learn a good lesson from this because god is really big and we have to praise him so let's us praise all God and his uh, religion and how he makes us a perfect human being. I hope you learn very good from this lesson. Uh, there is no other one. And that everything is alright. 3 is nice. No, 3 is nice. is also nice. We're going out. I hope you enjoy the day of the day. And tomorrow another video. I put uh, this thing on. 33, 33, 33. And I hope that you stop all the prayer class also. Because we have to tell more about God in the next episodes. I hope you all have a good time.